Hi Taurus, welcome to your love connection reading for the first half of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you are new, just um, quick, uh, just to let you know, you can check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me, readings, decks I'm using, tons and tons of information there. So please do go check that out. It would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. And before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much to those who have tipped or donated as an exchange of energy towards my channel is very much appreciated. So thank you. Thank you. And those are reached out for personal readings. Thank you so much. Couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And it's deeply, deeply appreciated. Okay, so this is Taurus Love Connection reading for the first half of August. This is any kind of connection you have in mind, any person you're thinking of, and any type of connection. And I hope whatever we get here resonates for you. Okay, Taurus, I hope everybody's doing well. First half of August. Can you believe we're going into August, in August already? Wow. Alrighty, Taurus, Taurus. Where is time going? I don't know. All right. So this is a Zodiac Oracle. So we could get a sign, element, or planet energy. And if whatever comes out here does not resonate for you, that's totally fine. This is sort of like a little extra bonus. So the rest of the reading may resonate for you. So let's see how you could be affected or what's around you. First half of August for Taurus. Love connection. Reading, please. One card for Taurus. Oh, they keep giving me two or three. I just want one for Taurus spirit, please. Thank you so much. There we go. Fire. All right. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sag, or Aries. And if not, um, or you can know someone that heavily, heavily has fire in their chart or, um, you got a fire in your chart, but this is may uh, this is who uh, some of you may be dealing with. So if it's not that fire is a very passionate energy. It's all about desires, uh, going after what you want, having drive, ambition, and that sort of energy. So we'll see. We shall see. And I noticed twenty three here. Five uh, is about change. So, I don't know, we'll see Taurus. Maybe there has to be some sort of re reigniting of the passion between you and your person. I don't know. Because five is about change, so maybe something has to change in your connection. You could be, this can be any kind of connection. So if you are married, committed, or long-term relationship, whatever it is for you. All right, so let's get an overall love energy card. What is the love overall love energy like for Taurus? The first half of August. Can we have one card spirit, please? Wow. Okay. Well, I'm going to take this one. So it came flying over here. And we have spent some quality time together. Wow. <laughs> it is important. It is, it is imperative that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationships with, listening and talking to each other. And you see this little like light over here almost looks like, you know, the color of like flames. And then you have six of four, which is 10, which is about endings, but also beginnings. So maybe there's some sort of dynamic in this relationship where, you know, the dullness and the boredom has to come to an end and like a new, um, rekindling restart of the flame the passion has to be brought back into this connection by spending more time together getting to know one another again somehow rekindling that passion between the two of you wow all right so how are you feeling Taurus towards your person how are you feeling about this connection we have one card for Taurus how are they feeling and how are they feeling in this connection spirit? Please, one card for Taurus. 
and the trains going by. I don't think you can hear that, but they're blowing the whistle. To me, that's always like confirmation. And they're early tonight. Uh, now we're early. All right, so I'm just going to take from the top. All right, so how are you feeling in this connection? Love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. So six and one and six, seven. Um, so maybe, you know, like I said, things have been a little dull and boring or stagnant in the relationship. And you have 16, which is seven. And that can be, you know, about confusion. That can be kind of like things at a standstill. Um, kind of defensive energy also. So, but there is love here. I definitely feel that there is love here. All right. Or you have, you know, you still feel love for this person, or maybe, you know, you need to like open your eyes back up to see this person again and still see that there is love there. You just have to look around to see it. You know, I feel like maybe you're forgetting how much love there is between the two, between the two of you. All right, so how is your person feeling about you in this connection? Demonstrate love. Find out what is important to the people you love and act on it. I think they're wanting you to show, wanting you to show them like how much you love them or you feel passionate towards them. Maybe that's lacking right now in the relationship. You have eight and four, which is 12, which is three. And three is like a social number. It's kind of like, working together, compromising, teamwork. So I think you both can, you know, work on building up the passion and love again. Well, I'm not saying there isn't love, but like making the love stronger and the passion and bringing it back again into the relationship. I think there, your person is longing for that. And I think you're kind of forgetting about that. You know, maybe this has been a long-term marriage, a long-term commitment of some kind here. And there's a need like to reconnect, to bring back like the rekindling of the love and the passion and the connectedness that maybe you both once had. But you know, when you've been together for a long time, you kind of lose that a little bit or you lose track of it or you take it for granted, you know? Okay, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Receive with love and appreciation. Receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love. So. And we have 34, which is seven again. So we have seven again. A seven is a divinely guided number, also a spiritual number. So maybe, you know, this is overall energy too of having to be more uh, loving and appreciative, yeah, appreciative towards one another. Also showing acts of kindness, loving and appreciating with love, kindness, emotion. Maybe that's lacking. All right, so let's see what's going on, Taurus. What's going on, Taurus, with you and your person and this love connection? This may not be for everybody, but, uh, oops, well, I guess that's your card and landed right on you. <laughs> let's see, judgment. Okay, so this is Scorpio energy, but it doesn't have to be. So this is like resurrection. This is forgiveness, healing, um, things coming back to the way they once were, making that final judgment call. This is like resurrecting this relationship back to what it once was. Wow. So I think you're deciding, maybe you're even deciding what to do with this connection. Maybe you don't know. You're like, I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. You know, things aren't like they were, uh, but just think back on how it once was and you can uh, resurrect that by spending more time together, being more loving and appreciating each other more and demonstrating, you know, verbally, physically love. I think maybe that's been lacking because your person's feeling that. So this can be resurrected, you know, I think you're just... Um, kind of confused on how to do it here. I think you want to resurrect this. You want to um, make it what it once was. All right, so what is your person? Let's clarify them. The Seven of Pentacles. So they're waiting. 
the your energy this is your energy Virgo Taurus Capricorn they're waiting for you to demonstrate love <laughs> and appreciation and kindness and passion they're like they're like waiting um, for it maybe you've been busy or you've been uh, neglecting them or working too much or been away too much I don't know something here because they're patiently waiting waiting for you to receive your love and passion and kindness and appreciation but you're like like in your own world I feel over here for some reason but and confused on how to get it back to how it once was all right so let's see what the actual situation is now for you Taurus so we have the chariot we have the four of cups wow and we have the two of cups <laughs> wow. this just clarifies exactly what I just said wow okay so we have the chariot I love when spirit does that spirit just gives me the cards to clarify exactly what I just said wow so here's the chariot and this is cancer energy but it doesn't have to be it's attached to you so I feel like exactly your making move it movement you're striving forward I, I really think you're concentrating on you it could be in your career your business you could be ha uh, spending a lot of time on your hobbies and things like that I feel like here at the chariot you you're like always busy doing your own thing like moving ahead in other things other than this uh, connection relationship marriage whatever it is here definitely I feel like you are busy doing your own thing and then connecting to them is the two of cups so that's cancer Scorpio Pisces but it doesn't have to be so they're <laughs> they're waiting for you to show them to come back together as this loving passionate couple you know having that deep connection that love emotions feelings that loving union they're waiting for that so I mean you could be off you could maybe you travel for work and maybe you're always away here um, with the chariot you know I feel like definitely feel like an, an energy of you being away gone doing whatever you're doing and this person like always on their own kind of waiting for you and can't wait for you to come back to come back together to this loving union and spend some quality time together Wow so connecting the two of you is the four of cups so Wow so that's water energy again so kind of being discontent and blah and bored so maybe while you're away they're bored maybe when you're home you're bored I, I, I don't know but um, or this is just your energy of like when I come home I don't I don't know what to do for some reason I don't know how to you know make things better I don't know how to um, show them how much I love them how much I'm passionate about them or maybe while you're away you're bored because you're not with them but you have to travel for work maybe it's something that you just have to do because you see traveling here on a plane or um, it's not a plane that's a yeah it's a plane it's like a little plane there and then you see you know this chariot so I feel like wow I think maybe you travel a lot for work and they're left home alone here and you know I think while you're away you think about them and you're feeling blah like I wish I was with them and they're you know bored when you're when you're away also Wow all right so a couple different stories there some different stories that kind of went all over the place so whatever you know resonates for you but now I see it coming together as you working traveling always away them you know can't you know thinking of you waiting for you to come back come back into union and both feeling bored and contempt and blah being apart from one another Wow all right Taurus let's see what your advice is what is your advice in this situation so we have the hermit and we have the Queen of Pentacles okay so what I just got messages here this is Virgo and this is your energy um, Virgo Taurus Capricorn the Queen of Pentacles so you really need to think long and hard here go in do some inner reflection inner work what truly truly makes you happy Queen of Pentacles can be King or Queen doesn't matter um, 
what truly makes you happy, what really, what truly gives you stability and um, makes you feel enriched, makes you feel, you know, abundant. Is it your person or is it being away and working? So I feel like you need to go in and think about what you truly want and desire going forward, what truly brings you stability, um, growth, expansion, and this connection with this person. Wow. Queen of Pentacles is somebody, I mean, you could own your own business. You could um, just have a high level um, of authority in your business. But whatever it is, I definitely feel like you're away a lot traveling. Traveling. And this person is alone a lot, thinking of you always. And can't wait to come back into union with you. All right. So, yeah, I think you really need to contemplate and think here what you know, what you need to do moving forward about your stability, your foundation. All right, so what is the possible outcome for you, Taurus? I get one. So, wow, the king and queen of pentacles. Wow. So we have a matching couple here. Definitely soulmate. I definitely feel like your soulmate's here. Maybe bring them with you. Maybe travel together. You know, is that an option? Maybe you could have them travel with you or maybe somehow be an assistant to you or be involved in your work and somehow so they can come with you. You know, we have a matching couple here, king and queen of pentacles. So definite soulmate energy here. Um, I mean, they could also be an earth sign also if they're not a fire sign. Wow. Or maybe you both jointly own the business and maybe you do all the traveling while they stay home and do I don't know book work or like the hands-on work or like the you know managing work but maybe you know changes can be made here because you got five here change you know maybe some changes can be made and maybe you can travel together this message isn't going to be for everybody um if it's not traveling, maybe something can um, be changed here so you two can be together more often um, in this situation so you're not apart so much, however that resonates for whoever's watching. All right, so let's get some clarifiers now. The two of wands. So yeah, making decisions, uh, plans, decisions, taking a new path, a new avenue in this for the future in this dynamic, in this relationship, in this connection. Fire energy there. And then we have the Ten of Swords. So this is about painful endings, completions. Um, I mean, we did have Ten up over here, Ten again here. Very painful, hurtful ending here. So I think they're very hurt, very, very hurt when you're away. So, you know, maybe you can end that pain and that hurt that they have when you're away by making new plans and changes for the future for the two of you. Because you have the, even though it's a sword, you have the fire in the background there. Okay, so then we have justice, right? So bringing balance and justice and truth and clarity into the situation. So justice can be had, Libra energy here in this situation. I don't feel like it's divorce or anything like that. I just feel like, you know, things can be balanced in this connection, new plans, new direction can be made somehow in this uh, connection, in this uh, situation to balance out the scales, um, to bring, you know, equality and uh, justice to the situation. All right, so let's see now the Empress. So, you know, this is your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So you may indeed, uh, it can be male or female, uh, the male would be emperor. So you may indeed own your own business. Indeed here with the Empress, yep. Wow. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The stars, so yep, there can be healing in this connection there can be hope faith optimism i definitely feel like it's divided guided divinely guided soulmates here you have a matching couple 
you guys are definitely soulmates. You can heal the situation, keep the hope, faith, optimism alive, divinely guided situation here. I think maybe Source is trying to show you the way, show you the light, what you need to do for this connection. The devil. So, you know, Capricorn energy talks of some toxic energy here. Uh, this may be just a very, very strong uh, soulmate connection here. Um, but whatever negative energy is in this situation here, um, you know, it can be healed. So this is good next to each other. Whatever negative toxic energy is connect is um, somehow affecting this connection can be healed with the star next to the devil. Wow. Whether it's, you know, those hurt feelings while the other is away, uh, whatever it is here, things can change, things can heal. This toxicity, negative thinking, whatever it is here can be overcome. Three of Wands. So, yep, looking out into the distance and there's that, you know, light again. So, yep, there may be a time of planning uh, what exactly you need to do here. It may take some time, but I definitely feel like this is going in a new direction, but kind of like you, there's a period of waiting. So maybe, you know, some planning needs to be made. Uh, so maybe a waiting period while you figure it out. Yeah, confusion, options, you know, what can we change and the dynamic and the business or whatever it is for you, whatever the situation is, what can we change? What can we do to make these changes? Eight of Cups energy. So, you know, leaving whatever's not serving this connection, leaving it behind and going in a new direction again you know, going in a more fulfilling direction for the two of you. Queen of Cups. So, you know, I definitely feel like water energy here. Definitely feel like there's a lot. I'm not sensing like there's third party or anything like that. I'm sensing there's just a lot of this person really loves you a lot. I'm thinking really loves you a lot. You love them. A lot of love and emotions and feelings between the two of you with the Queen of Cups energy. Now we have the Queen of Swords, so let's see what's under the Queen of Swords. The Eight of Pentacles. So, you know, the Eight of Swords, I was just going to say, I feel like this is the divine energy trying to show you the way, show you the light, how you need to work on this to improve it, to make the changes that you need to make in this dynamic, you know, truth and clarity, cutting away obstacles no longer serving the two of you truth and honesty communication yep love and emotions and walking in a whole new direction that is more fulfilling for the two of you whether like i said whatever your dynamic is that you're apart a lot in some way shape or form and then there's a need here to make some sort of re-evaluation and changes so you can spend more time together. Because I definitely feel like there's a lot of love, a very strong bond, a very strong connection, soulmate energy with the matching couple here. And I really feel like you miss each other terribly when you're not together. So, um, yep. Okay, so... All right, Taurus, let's get some guidance, advice for you for this situation for the first half of August. What is the advice, guidance for Taurus for the first half of August? Wow, it's too many. Too many. Can I have one card? Please, for Taurus, first half of August. August. All right, let's stop now. And we have Our Lady of the Abundant Garden. So I do feel like this is a very abundant connection. There's a lot of love, emotions, um, strong bond between the two of you. And also maybe whatever it is here, um, if you own something together or they do or something, it's very successful, it's lucrative, it's very abundant. 
there uh, is a lot of growth expansion here. But I also, between the two of you, I think you push each other to grow, expand. The love is very deep and abundant between the two of you. And you have eight and three, which is 11, which is two, which is about like the two of cups energy here. You have a soulmate union. Peace and harmony. You probably bring peace and harmony to one another. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Wow. Our Lady of Divine Direction. And did I just say here with the Queen of Swords, I felt like that was divine. So I think the divine here is trying to show you the way, show you what direction you need to take for this connection. And you have three and five, which is eight, which is again about that travel, action, communication. So, yeah. And I definitely feel like this is a divinely guided soulmate connection here between the two of you. All right, Taurus, that was your love reading for the first half of August. If it didn't resonate for you, you could check the description box below and uh, look at past links. Maybe something there will resonate for you more. And I'm sending you much luck in your situation here. Good luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say, as with my channel, title of my channel is to always, always shine your light.